Hey guys, welcome back to Dog Pub Vlog. Today I'm going to finish out the Shih Tzu grooming series. This one's going to be monthly, so everything that I do um, monthly. And as always, I will provide the steps down in the description bar. Now I've already done her daily groom, so if you haven't watched that, go ahead and click on the card there so you can watch that. I'm going to show you um, just kind of the upkeep that has to happen for Coco once a month. These uh, particular things are not her favorite, um, so I don't do them as often. So I'll just walk through each step. If you're interested, stay tuned. So the first step is going to be um, her hygiene clip or her sanitary cut. From my Andy's two speed clippers and a 10 blade to do her hygiene clip. Now, um, I start in the back, so I'm going to turn her around, and I'm just going to be cleaning up this hair back here. I know a lot of um, owners don't like the shaven bottom, but it just helps when she's going to the potty that there's not a bunch of staining back here and little hanger, clinger on. I think it's a good description of what happens. If you have a long haired dog, you kind of know the situation. And it's just easier if this is just clean back here. I'm going to do her um, her genitalia area. I'm going to take the clippers and I'm not going to touch her actual bottom with the, with the blade. I'm going to go over it. Make sure her, her tail's out of the way, and then go up. Okay. So, I'm also going to do, as part of the hygiene clip, her underbelly, as well as kind of the inside of her back legs. So, I'm just going to lift her up what I don't want to cut kind of out of the way here and I'm gonna just trim up the thighs here and then on the other side and then upper tummy it for the hygiene clip and that just helps when you she's going to the bathroom and there's not a whole lot to clean up um, the next thing I'm gonna do is shave the paw pads I'm gonna be switching the blade from the 10 blade to the 5 8 blade I'm gonna show you that it just looks like this okay so now I'm just going to do the paw pads so I'm gonna turn around again And then I'm going to go to the um, front ones. There's a lot more fur to move out of the way. So, that out of the way. Okay, so <laughs> my card ran out of space and I was still talking and doing stuff. So, all four feet are going to look the same. You just shave <laughs> the hair off the paw pads. So, the next step I do is um, remove the ear hair out of her um, ear canal. She is not a fan of this. 
uh, so she's going to be moving around. Hopefully I can still keep it within the camera view. So I'm just going to be using this um, ear hair powder to um, create a grip on the hair so it'll come out easy more easily. So I'm just going to kind of massage the ear so that the powder gets on the hair. I try to do as much with my fingers as possible because she really doesn't like the hemostats. But kind of hard to get in there. <laughs> so a pair of hemostats I'm going to be using to remove the um, ear hair out. Give her a little break and let her kind of reposition um, and then I just go little by little. I don't want to um, try to grab too much at a time because I don't want to grab her hair, I mean grab her skin and pinch her. And I'm not going deep, I'm just what's sticking out that shouldn't be there, I'm just pulling out. Oh, I know, you're being pretty good. white powder that's left, I'll um, clean her ears with ear cleaner to get the rest of the white powder out. This side's going to be really hard for you to see. It's going to be the same process, um, so I'm probably not going to include it. It's just going to look the exact same. Okay, so I did both ears, um, so now I'm just going to clean them out to get that powder out. This is the same as the uh, daily groom that I showed because I didn't do that step knowing I'd have to do it to take the powder out. So. But she did really good for that. There wasn't a lot of hair. I mean, she did really, really good for that. to shave um, under her arms her front I call it her arms she has four legs but the ones that are in front I call arms so <laughs> that just helps with um, when they're walking that their hair rubs and rubs and rubs up against itself and can tangle more easily it's especially true if your um, dog wears a harness if you keep that area cut low it's um, less likely to tangle so that's what we're going to do now and I'm just going to stand her up just kind of in this area here. I'm not going to do like a whole lot of um, trimming because that's part of her long coat but I just want this area in here that tangles. Okay, so that's that side. So you can see that a little bit better. I just want kind of this here and here. That's the um, shaving the underarms part. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go back to the feet. I like to kind of 
move around because I don't want to just do everything to her feet because she doesn't like it so I don't want to shave her paw pads and scissor her feet and cut her toenails in one big um, thing. I'll, I'll give her a break and then move on to a different area and come back. So we're going to go back to the um, feet and we're going to scissor the feet. Now for the scissoring the feet, you're just going to make sure everything's combed out. Now there's um, two different ways you can do it, probably a lot of different ways you can do it, but two different ways you can do it is to trim from underneath or you can trim from the top of the foot. I actually kind of do both because I just think it makes it look neater. Um, so to go underneath, you're basically cupping the fur in your hand so it makes this like kind of cuppy shape. And then you're gonna trim everything that sticks out. Make sure your tail is clear. So you're gonna do this side, up top, and then on the side, and then other side, and then the toes. So from there, I'm going to kind of turn her and then pick up the foot in the front and then just trim along, um, shape the foot that way. So you have like a little triangle like that. And we will do that all the way around. So this is the other back foot. Just gonna comb out everything. Try to move some of this other hair out the way.
all four feet and so the last thing um, I'm gonna show you guys is the nail trimming so you just find the nail you start with her dew claw and we're just gonna go around and cut her nails good girl Good girl. face is looking crazy because it's you know it's not in a top knot she's about to get the bath but um if you like to you can shave the mouth um Coco does not like it at all it's one of the few things I'll be like okay it's not really worth it because she fights so much for it and we started when she was really young and she just never got used to that sensation of um trimming her mouth but you would just shave um just right here <laughs> <laughs> and create that little that little kiss mark um, here but I'm not going to do that on her and then I'm um, also monthly if your dog is on flea tick and heartworm prevention that would be um, when you could do it as well um, so everything is done I'm gonna list everything in the description bar below as well as the two previous videos you can see those you can kind of see how everything fits together um, now she will get a bath I will be doing that next and if you have any questions certainly leave them down in the comments and if you have any requests for videos leave those as well all right thanks for watching bye